What you got? Mike Bray, Ryan Burns, to the New York Giants. The Carolina Panthers, a little bit more than a year from when they wouldn't trade him for two first-round picks, have now traded him to the Giants. A second-round pick, as well as a fifth-round pick. That pick, I believe, is in 2025 and alongside Brian Burns, and this deal is a contract that is done for Burns. Five years, $150 million, $87.5 million guaranteed. This, according to me and Ian Rappaport. So yes, we've been watching this one all day long. It's kind of been talked about and trickled out. We're like waiting for the go call for this to finally, officially be done. And it is done. The Giants pairing Brian Burns with Kayvon Thibodeau for the chance to have guys creating havoc on both sides of the line. So there it is. The Giants and Panthers have been going back and forth all day long to try to officially get this thing done. It is a done deal. Brian Burns to the Giants. Just a massive, massive deal for the Giants. For Brian Burns, at the end of a very, very long saga for the Carolina Panthers. And they get their wins too. They get a second rounder. They get a fifth rounder. There's some pick swaps in there. It's a little more than that. But it really, really nice deal for the Carolina Panthers and new general manager Dan Morgan. And for Brian Burns at long last, he gets traded and he gets his deal. He gets a five-year, a $150 million deal. Uh, with $87.5 million guaranteed in this deal done by Todd France of Athletes First. This has been, as I mentioned, something that's been going on since really before last season. I know they had some talks about getting a contract done, did not come to fruition, when he played on it. They tagged him, but this one has always been about the trade. And now the Giants land a huge, huge piece of their pass rush. Carolina Panthers move on, Giants land a pass rusher. Burns gets paid. All the things happen at the exact same time. Yeah. And if I may, yeah, I may. Let me tell you something. You think this was stressful for Giants general manager Joe Shane? It was stressful for this guy. You got to chill out now. You're going to relax. He was so on edge all day long. We were talking about this, trying to get it officially finally done and confirmed and broken. You did it. Okay. Now take his phone. Wasn't working, though. How did he do that with his phone not working? Well, I was freaking out. Part of the anxiety, my, no, no, seriously, my texts are not working so I got the iPad. I got the computer here. So I get the text out of the computer. I get the Twitter on the phone. The deal is done. I got the alert emojis. All everything is happening. It's all happening. Go, go check, go check on that other thing. I'm telling you that we got to check on. Okay, go check on that. See yes, I will check on that. Go get the other thing. That's a that is a tease. Yes. Way to work. There. Uh, and you know. So we got two big deals done in the first offseason for Dan Morgan as the full-time GM of the Carolina Panthers had been there, got elevated to the position. And so now that is a that resource is to help bring Bryce Young along. Right. And to create a better environment there for him, perhaps, and build some pieces around him. No question. I thought you'd probably get a little bit more for Brian Burns, but what the Giants have the number six overall pick so you know that wasn't going anywhere. Right. But to be able to get a player, we heard DJ talk about it earlier when we were discussing kind of what to do for the Panthers. You trade some of those guys away on the defensive side to help build for that offense. You have a second round pick. Obviously some pick swaps as well in there allow you to move up and be able to play a little bit more in the draft. But listen, Brian Burns to the Giants is something special. I don't I wink Martindale was a coordinator last year and he was blitzing all over the place trying to get pressure because Kayvon Thibodeau was doing a ton of stuff. You could literally sit back and rush too if you want to. At this point, don't forget about Dexter Lawrence. Like we can take him out. Hey Dexter, you don't got to chill out. We're just gonna rush two guys here because you have two guys now. Fala galera, beleza pessoal? Notícia do Mengão aqui agora. É isso aí pessoal. Bora aqui para a notícia do Mengão. É o seguinte pessoal. Flamengo monitora caso o Wesley seguirá à disposição de Tite durante investigação policial. O lateral esquece recuperar de lesão e acusado de agressão por 
empresário em quiosque na praia. Wesley está sendo acusado de agressão e ameaça pelo empresário Caio Manan, que registrou o boletim de ocorrência na última segunda-feira. O Flamengo monitora o caso é, ocorrido na noite de domingo em um quiosque na praia da Barra da Tijuca, zona oeste do Rio de Janeiro. E a decisão interna é de aguardar para tomar qualquer medida dis, é, disciplina, disciplinar. Né? O, a instituição extracampo do Flamengo tem o costume de aplicar multas como advertência em uma nova punição financeira não está descartada, porém a diretoria optou por aguardar o fim da investigação policial. Wesley não se pronunciou oficialmente e não o fará antes de depor, mas já conversou com Marcos Braz, vice-presidente do futebol, que está frente do caso. Wesley se recuperará de uma pequena lesão muscular nas, em cerca de 10 dias ainda não voltou a trabalhar com o grupo. Na última segunda-feira, o lateral direito mais uma vez treinou a parte física separada, é, mas já está em fase de transição. Quando for reintegrado ao elenco, ele ficará disponível é, para Tite normalmente, enquanto não há uma, um desfecho da investigação ele permanecerá aí em, no banco de reserva ou apenas sendo avaliado. Beleza, pessoal? Então é isso. Deixa aquele like maroto no vídeo e até a próxima. Valeu!